Hello, Mad Max here. Next in the Flying Circus 3D U series, we have Smoke and Joe McBride and Jason Showtime Sultan to discuss the ins and outs of hovering. Showtime, great to have you, bud. Thanks, bro. Let's get to the flying. Right, we're going to get you hovering. We're going to start with the proper entry, talk to you about maintaining orientation, how to keep it in the groove, how to make corrections when you get out of the groove, and how to bring it on down. Let's yeah. look at a pop-up or a wall, and our wings level, low speed. Make sure that motor's running well, idled up, and you're on 3D rates. Going into the wind as the plane passes in front of you, pull up full elevator. Let the plane peek out, and throttle back up as necessary, maintain altitude. Yeah, but every time I get going, the plane rotates, and I'm looking at the belly, and the whole thing goes to hell. Uh, well, we're not going to torque roll. We're going to keep the plane so that we're looking at the canopy. By putting the plane 3 to 5 degrees on the belly, the plane will not want to torque roll as much, and the ailerons will become much more effective. Right. Bury the ailerons if you have to, but keep that plane from torque rolling. You're going to need to blast the throttle to get the effect that you want. Think about giving a blast of throttle with all your corrections. With time, you're going to be able to anticipate and get on and off the correction and throttle. <laughs> Dude. All right, here's a sample. I enter a hover. The plane's too vertical, and it torques before I can correct it. So initially, when the plane gets out of whack, you should push to the belly and power up. If you get out of that comfortable orientation, get out of there and set up again. All bailouts need to be with zero altitude loss, so make sure you apply lots of power. As a matter of fact, let's say we start up at altitude initially, and we can still practice full power zero altitude loss recoveries. Hey Max, here's a trick. When the plane yaws to the side and the rudder isn't enough to correct it... Yeah, I've heard that happen. Well, we're going to give it power ailerons and then push the elevator. The elevator usually has more authority, so you can get the tail back under the plane and get her back in the groove. Stop. Max, I've seen some really nice tail slides out of you. Tell us how you do Okay, so to tail slide, get the plane in the groove, then get off the throttle, and quickly right back on it. If you do this correctly, the plane will drop. You're going to get a bit of torque when you catch the plane, so anticipate this with some right ailerons. The bottom line is, hovering requires a lot of practice and a lot of gas. In future 3DU videos, we'll be covering the art of torque rolling. That concludes this segment of the Flying Circuses 3D University. Please check back often for website updates and more videos.